Here at Mercer County Community College, the visual arts program is pretty diverse in its offerings. One of the great things about what we do is that we try and offer a sampling of a number of different types of courses and concentrations so that we can fulfill students' needs across a multitude of different uh, platforms. One of the main purposes of what we do here is getting our students ready to transfer to four-year institutions. So we've designed our program essentially to be the first two years of a four-year program to get students off on the right foot when they transfer to their bachelor's degree. So our classes are also fairly small, you know, 12 to 15 students in a class compared to much larger classes at other schools. It gives a great opportunity for one-on-one -on -one attention to each individual student. One of my favorite things to do is to work with students individually trying to identify their strengths and weaknesses and work with those particular strengths and weaknesses. I think it is smart to go to a community college because let's say you don't necessarily know what you want to do right when you start. Instead of spending an exorbitant amount of money on tuition at a four-year institution, you're actually saving quite a bit of money by studying at a community college to try and figure out what sort of path you want to go to. A lot of our students also work so they can combine going to school, getting their art degree and still working continue living at home, uh, so it's convenience, it's also low cost. But I feel like at the community college, they can really test the waters, they're not far from home, you're comfortable, and you can really open up and explore. I mean, the faculty here is great, I mean, they're going to teach you just as much as everything anybody at a four-year is going to teach you, and starting here and learning what you're interested in and where you want to go is a great start, especially for building your portfolio, because you can start here and then it's only going to get stronger. The professors I've had, Professor Fix, Professor Welliver, and Professor Stevenson, um, they really have a great deal of knowledge to pass on to the students. That way they have the skills they need to succeed later on down the road. For those of you, you can always uh, email them, talk to them, and you know, they will help you. All the faculty here are really, really supportive, and at the same time, you're really pushed to grow and keep moving and pushing yourself and not stopping at just one thing that you can do and continuing to understand concepts and grow both in terms of technique and you know, material execution of artwork, as well as the conceptual ideas behind that. There's no pressure for you to be perfect. You're always going to be learning. You're always going to be teaching others. So it's good to just don't stress about, oh, I don't know this well enough. I don't know that well enough. Just do your best and ask questions. It's always good to ask questions because professors love when you ask questions. I was doing drawing outside Mercer of a portrait of someone with pencil. And subconsciously, I was using what I had learned in basic drawing the first year. And I didn't fully process it until halfway through. But then I realized that what I had learned at Mercer was so like ingrained in me that it really helped develop the basic skills I already had. I like the idea of community college having a strong art program with three painters, with a ceramics professor, uh, photography, art history. So this idea that a small school can have a vibrant art program. Overall, it's hard to pick a single best experience I've had here. But if I had to say one thing that I look upon most fondly here, it's sort of the larger process of growth that I've gone through. When I came in here, coming to the point that I've finished, Looking at the changes and you know new perspectives I've gained, it's really been a fantastic journey.